What is up guys? Welcome to the vlog. Today I have a real treat for you. I'm gonna be showing you guys my new toy. Pegasus. What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. I Turn right on Perkins Street. You're gonna... What? I can't. I cannot be a passenger in a vehicle. That's just simply not for me. It's for some people, it's not for me. I need to be in control of driving. Sophie, how you doing back there? Sophie Don't worry, baby. Likes my turn. I know it was a close call, near death experience. Uh, we still have seven minutes to get in an accident, but uh, some big things are coming. Some big, big things. Something I've been waiting for pretty much my entire life. A little dream come true coming here. What's up guys? I'm at an absolute loss of words right now. M4 Competition X Drive. This thing has exceeded every expectation that I've had. It's the fastest car I've ever driven, for sure. Mind blowing. I didn't open it up too much and I didn't put it in you know tr full blown track mode because I think you gotta break in the car a little bit before you, you do stuff like that. It was an exceptional, incredible experience. I'm literally at a loss of words. The team over at BMW of Akron, a great dear friend of mine, Betty and Mark Lyon. I mean, the entire team from start to finish, this has been a magic carpet ride to my dream vehicle. And I think that's the best way to put it. It is simply an experience that money cannot buy. So I just wanna say thank you and a special thank you to Nathan, the owner who made this all possible through the opportunity that he's given to me working for him at the Honda store. It's funny, I'm actually nervous talking right now. I'm sure you can tell this is a little bit different than my normal conversations on camera. I'm normally very comfortable. It's, it's surreal. BMW M3 Coupe or a C63 AMG were my two dream cars growing up. And I almost got a C63 AMG when I first got into management and it didn't end up working out. I got a Type R, which was a great vehicle, but it was by no means like a dream come true. And this is just a huge milestone in my life. And I'm just appreciative of everybody that I've been surrounded with in this opportunity that I have. So every day I just feel like this life that I live is becoming more and more of a dream. And I say this all the time, it's in my Instagram. I truly believe this. Dreams are simply realities waiting to happen. And if you just stay laser focused and you push through all the downs and the negative and the hard bumps, obstacles, and everything that life throws at you, if you just continue to work at something, I truly do believe that anything is possible. And this is a perfect example of that. So I'm gonna enjoy driving it probably the rest of the night. I'll probably blow through an entire tank of gas. This is a 2022 M4 Competition X Drive. This is my first BMW. For those of you that have been following me on the channel, you know that before this I had a Civic Type R. I loved it, it was a great car, but this is on an entirely new level. It's not even close to the same type of class vehicle that the Type R was. Honestly, I think this is borderline a supercar. The performance results, zero to 60, quarter mile, the track times it's getting, I, I think it competes with some of the supercars. It's definitely the fastest car that I've ever driven, but I wanna jump right in. I wanna show you guys everything that I did in the customizer, every package that I got on it, so you guys can know exactly what my build was on this thing. One of the biggest things that stand out on this vehicle from some of the other ones that you might see on the road 
is the frozen brilliant white paint it's like a matte but it has like a pearl in it I'm gonna try and get a good shot of it it's so sunny out I don't I don't know if you guys will be able to see it the first upgrade I got we got the shadow line headlights with the laser projectors one very interesting thing about this vehicle that the other vehicles don't have is the 50th anniversary badges now despite some criticism when I was customizing this I got the carbon fiber fender flicks okay so you'll see I'm gonna throw up on the screen all the packages that I added through the regular BMW customizer but afterwards if you call your dealership you can actually add a lot of things that aren't available on the online customizer such as the carbon fiber the M performance parts and I pretty much got every M performance carbon fiber slip that you could get the one thing I didn't get was the performance exhaust I thought for $11,000 just wasn't worth it and it put a triangular type exhaust and I, I think I liked it in the pictures and the videos but I'm just not sure I liked it that much $11,000 is a very expensive upgrade but moving on let's go on to the fender flicks that I was talking about let's check these guys out I got the full carbon fiber package exterior package and that's gonna come with these carbon fiber inserts in the front which is sweet it's gonna come with the carbon fiber mirror caps comes with the carbon fiber diffuser but if you like this type right here this type of spoiler you have to add it, it is the M uh, performance carbon fiber spoiler as well as the side skirts that you guys will see they're just a little bit more aggressive than the standard ones I think it's well worth it I think it looks great and I think as long as you get all the carbon fiber for the rear it blends perfectly I opted for the gloss wheels. I think they came in matte and they came as a, a dual color where you could get like a silver and a black as well. But I think for sure the gloss black with everything else that I did for the vehicle, it blends really well with the window tint, um, which is obviously still gonna be black. The shadow headlights, the M4 badging on the side. The thing comes standard with the carbon fiber roof, which I thought was actually really cool. Really, really cool. Obviously, I don't want a sunroof. I never used my sunroof in uh, in any of the other vehicles that I have so why would I get one here especially if I can get something that has a carbon fiber roof it actually looks black obviously from far away but you can really notice it at night and it blends really well with everything else that's here um, I think that that the customizing that BMW offers is pretty incredible this paint job I can't get over it I don't think that the video is going to do it justice I watch hundreds and hundreds of videos on the frozen paint versus the regular paint and everyone told me that the frozen paint was gonna be a pain in the ass and I shouldn't get it and it was gonna get dirty and it was gonna get stain marks and while you might get some here and there, as long as you take care of the vehicle and you get it detailed by a professional, you should be okay. On the 16th, it's, uh, it's the seventh today. On the 16th, I'm actually going to be going to get a ceramic coating that's safe for matte finishes. I'm really excited for this guy to work on the car and just fix some of the, the paint corrections that the dealership missed when they were delivering me the vehicle. But yeah, I am a little bit crazy about it. Like you can see this little spot right here. Every time I see a spot, I clean it. Every single time. Let's move on to the interior and then I'll get into some of the, the features that I got with the vehicle. Other than just the aesthetic stuff that you can see. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so now that we're in the car, so some really cool things that are small things that are that are big to me. The seats, I did not go with the performance seats. I sat in them at the dealership before I ordered the vehicle, and I just thought they were very uncomfortable. This is a vehicle that I'm gonna drive a lot. Obviously, I still have a demo from the dealership, so I don't have to drive it when the weather conditions don't permit, but um, I really wanna be comfortable, and I think that you know, someone that's gonna track this car, they're definitely gonna want those seats, but for someone that's really not gonna be tracking it, I just didn't think it was worth it to be slightly uncomfortable. They're not terrible, don't get me wrong, but these seats are a lot more comfortable and they uh, allow the option for ventilated seats. But one very cool thing is the M branding. This actually illuminates at night. I didn't get my windshield tinted. I got the sides tinted 20s. Don't tell anybody. I know that's not that's not exactly allowed um, in the back tinted 20s. But you could see it. As soon as you walk up to the car, there's this welcome lighting that happens. And you see the seats illuminate. Down on the ground, you actually can see the M logo projectors illuminate. And I'm going to try and get a shot of that when I get back into the garage for you guys. But some other very cool things. Obviously, I got the M carbon fiber package on the, the inside as well. 
they did a beautiful job. The steering wheel, okay? This is probably the most comfortable but sporty steering wheel I've, I've ever gripped onto. Now, I came from the Mercedes world, so I drove C63 AMGs, I drove CLSs, you name it, I've driven it, the uh, AMG GT, um, and we also had an Audi store, so I was able to drive a lot of those Audis. This tops everything else on the market is in its price segment. I think you would have to get into a supercar to be getting something that's nicer than this. And even then, I'm not sure it would be better. I've driven a couple Ferraris, not to take away from a Ferrari, but there's something very special and unique about this competition X-Drive. The connection that you have with the, the engine and the power and the steering, it's just, it is better than any BMW I've, I've ever driven. They did something good. This is the first X drive, which means all wheel drive M4 that they've made available. And you see this thing competing with GTRs off the line. And beating it in the quarter mile. And just some pretty incredible vehicles this thing is smoking i saw videos of it beating the rs5 the rs5 that special package that they had um, it smoked the c63 but it's not really a fair competition because the c63 only comes in rear wheel drive that was my previous favorite car i did get every single package you could get on the vehicle through the bmw customizer on the website with the exception of carbon ceramic brakes i'm not going to track my car there's really no need for me to to have carbon ceramic brakes if you're not gonna track your car. As customized, this one, 113. Some very cool things that this car has and what I like about this is, although it is like a supercar, it's a sports car, BMW didn't stop and say, you know what? This driver only cares about the performance stuff. All of the luxury amenities are available on this vehicle. This digital cockpit, when you start driving, the autonomous driving right here, it pops up right there and it monitors all the vehicles that are on the left and the right hand side. If a vehicle pulls off to the right, you see the icon come up and, you know, I wish I had the gear so that I could like mount this camera and show you guys what it's like when I'm driving. But um, yeah, very cool. Heated steering wheel. One thing that's huge is the parking. This thing can park itself. And I mean completely park itself. Let's, you know what, I, I'm just gonna show you. This, this, it's, it's nuts, it's crazy. All right guys, <clears throat> this is the parking thing I was talking about. I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna select the spot. So nervous it's gonna hit that car. <gasps> Look at this thing go. And just like that, the car is parked. It's magical. What these cars can do now is absolutely magical. Right, let me show you guys some of this uh some of this lighting. And then uh, an exhaust startup for sure. All right, so right there I did startup of the performance mode as well as the regular startup i think the second one was much louder for sure but here's the the welcome lighting i was talking about look you can see the m logo on the bottom the door handles light up and the m4 logo inside the car light up and she winks at you when you lock it and walk away you gotta love it Let's get back up to the apartment. Give you guys a little physique update. By the time I post this vlog, the contest will be over. And Chris will have lost. So, yeah, big things coming. See you guys in one minute. All right guys, today is August 7th. 
which means Chris has seven more days to gain a bunch of muscle and stay completely shredded. We've been dieting for way too long. Besides the fact that I have horrible diet brain right now. I mean, we are talking terrible diet brain. I can't think at all. I tried to show my car earlier and it, it just wasn't working. It just wasn't. I couldn't remember all the packages that were on it. I couldn't really remember the direction I was going at all. I'm not gonna keep rambling. Here's a physique update, Chris. As of today, right now, if I didn't do anything else and I stayed the same, I just want this video to be proof that I could have won on the seventh. And I, I'll be honest, I didn't even really start doing cardio until a few weeks ago. So I think I could have won a lot earlier, but I slowed it down to lose as little muscle as possible. Here's a physique update. Chris, by the time you see this video, you will have already congratulated me for beating you. Thanks for the competition. So here we have no pump. Didn't work out today. Lighting's pretty good in here, actually. Oh, what is that? What is... Anyways, like I said before, the tan, it really helps. And I'm really not too tan right now. I still have a few more sessions, but tan brings out definition without a doubt. And when you're pasty and white like I was, you just, you can't see all the, all the indents, the shadow lines, the creases. Wow, just, just wow. Christopher, listen buddy. Love you like a brother. I hope you didn't take the loss too bad. I'm gonna pay for the cheat meal, for sure. Thanks for the motivation. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get on my day, Sunday. I got a lot to do. I'm gonna be going to hit the gym in just a short while. I just wanted to show you guys my new toy. Add to the motivation of 2022. I know a lot of you guys got a lot of stuff going. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't let your hair go like me. If you guys liked the vlog, you wanna see more content with the car, shoot me a DM, comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about my M4 Competition X Drive build. The only thing that I was thinking about changing throughout the whole process was I initially wanted frozen matte black. Let me know if you think that would have been a better choice. I think I decided correctly with the matte white. It just looks so nice. Ignore the fact that it's gonna be hard to keep clean. Ignore that, I'll wash that sucker every day. I, I run a dealership, so literally, I would just go in the back and make sure I do some spot cleaning every day to make sure it's clean. But um, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope this motivated you. Like, subscribe, and share. Please share the content, guys. That's how I can keep growing. That's how I can keep recording. And hopefully my videos just keep getting better and better. Hopefully I can upgrade some video equipment here shortly and get a full frame for the vlogs moving forward. But. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. Summer Shredding 2022 isn't over yet. I'll see you guys in the next one.